Namaste student, today we are going to do some problem related to Euclid adjuncts. Here we have problem, first problem and uh, few problems you have to solve by your own. So here the question, if AC equals to BD, so first our target, whatever diagram they have given, we have to write that diagram, okay, beside this one, see here, A, D, B and C, you just write, okay. Now see what we have. We have a AC equals to BD. So what they are asking that if AC equals to BD, then show that AB, AB means this one, equals to CD, means this part. See they have given that AC equals to BD. And you need to see AC equals to BD. You need to show that AB equals to CD. Okay. So also write the include axiom used for proving it. So whatever problem related to this chapter you have to write beside that to what axioms you have applied. So here you can see that in AC in line segment AC BC is there. And in BD, we can see that BC is there. That means for both line segment AC and BD, BC is common. That means what you remember the uh, exams that equals are subtracted from equals the remainder equal. That means if we take out same thing from both sides, see, you will take out. So you have to write beside this one equals R subtracted from equals the remainder are equal now see what you can see that from AC if you take out this one you can write here AB and from BD if you take out BC you can write CD this is your proof finish first one Okay, here you can see problem. Practice this problem. Okay, so we'll proceed for next problem. Here is a problem. If a point C lie between two points A and B, so what we have, you take two point A and B, join them. Now it is saying that C lie between a and B such that AC equals to BC that means C is the midpoint okay so we have what we have we have AC equals to what BC this one we have according to question we need to prove that AC equals to half of AB yes we know that but we need to use Euclid axioms so how are we going to do so if we'll add same thing on both sides, we know that we can add same thing on both sides. Equals are added to equals the whole are equal. We know this axiom uh, equals. That means we can apply AC, AC both sides. Okay. Now see. AC plus AC will give you two times of AC. Okay. And look at here. BC plus AC will give you what? Whole thing. AB. Now what you can see that. We know that. One more in terms. That half of equal are equal. That means you do half on both sides. Okay. Do we have to write beside this one? Half of equals r equals okay so this implies see half of cancel you will get here ac and this will give you half ab so this is your proof so here you have problem okay check it okay next problem will proceed 
so here we have third number problem so what we have it is known that x plus y equals to 10 and x equals to z show that z plus y equals to 10 and also state Euclid's axioms used so here what we have we have x plus not sorry x equals to z. this one has been given okay now if we'll add same thing on both sides sorry that means x if we'll add y on both sides it will remain same that means equals are added to equals the whole are equals and now you look at here it is given x plus y equals to what 10 you can replace it and here see z plus y or we arrange this one this side see they are asking this one only z plus y equals to 10 so here is the problem solve it okay next last problem for this chapter so here already you have solved this type of problem solve x minus 15 equals to 25 but now you have to apply Euclid axioms to solve this linear equation okay so we have x minus 15 equals to 25 okay so what we're going to do we know that if we'll add same thing on both sides it will remain same that means to make it here only x what we're going to do we'll add plus 15 on both sides see plus 15 on both sides and beside you have to write see here what they have written is state includes axiom used here so you have to state here equals are added to equals the whole are equal the whole are equals okay now see plus 15 minus 15 will give you 0 and this will give you 40 this is your answer here is a problem solve this type of problem okay thank you